Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope you're well. It is absolutely roasting hot whilst I'm making this video. Just a short one. This one, just a midweek video. And as you can see by the title, yeah, we had a idiot on the radio. Now, this video that you're going to see, this is part of a much longer video that I shall be putting up shortly where we introduce a new breaker, a new guy, Dan, back onto the CB. And I've made a whole video about that, so I'm not going to give that away. But yeah, just to say, this was an afternoon on the 27.305, which is our regular group frequency. We've been on this frequency for just over six years, I think, now. And someone once said that the 305 it is a calling channel in another country, but I've never had anyone come on and ask us the QSY uh, because we're blocking a calling channel. And sometimes when it's just me and the guys, if we've come on and someone else comes on in the background, normally in a different mode, we, we clear the channel, we QSY up to 315, 325, something like that. We try and keep it clear. This particular day, as I say, as I had Dan coming on at a range to meet him on here, I really, really wanted to get him passed around to as many people as possible to test out his equipment. So I didn't want a QSY this day. Now you'll see on the video when I switched on the radio, I did check that it was uh, clear. I was expecting that we might get a little bit of FM bleed over in the background because it normally seems to happen it's sod's law it can be clear all day we go on at about four o'clock and then we've got a couple of other people in a different mode we're not really running well we're not running a lot of power on uh, sideband so they're on fm and they probably don't even know we're there fm is so wide and it's so um kind of easy on interference that they probably wouldn't really know what we're there we're not disturbing them they do bleed over onto sideband and of course with the uh, propagation coming in as well yeah it does cause a bit of a problem but we work around it we work around it I, we don't go onto channel and we don't ask them to move it's not our frequency we're just sharing it but on this particular case there's a couple of guys you'll hear they come on they um, they start getting louder as their signals increase, I, sh I assume that was skip and they weren't increasing power. And they would had their little chat in the background, we get bashed about a little bit, we sort of deal with it. Um, and then they finish, and I thought, oh, that was it. And then one guy decides to come back and then to bleep all over us, um, all over Dan, really. Which I thought was a very petty, I thought that was very childish. Um, yeah, there's no need for it, there just isn't any need. They'd finished their conversation, They're, they were done, they could have cleared the frequency. But no, the guy did uh, come back and try to bleep all over us. And we did we did sort of stick with it. Uh, I, was, I was a little bit upset though for Dan. I didn't want him to get a wrong impression. We don't normally get this kind of childish behavior. And I so I was a little upset about that, but I, hope, I think Dan had a good time and you'll see a lot more of Dan in the video that's coming up very shortly. But I just thought I'd show you this idiot on the radio. Yeah, there's still idiots out there trying to ruin it from everyone else. When really, if everyone minds their own business, leaves everyone else alone, there's plenty of space nowadays on the radio. Well, here comes the clip. Thanks for listening to the intro, listening to my rant. Please stay safe, and here we go. Um, I'm hoping that it, the band's going to be clear today for Dan, so we can come on and we can get him passed around and get him some contacts. Being the summer solar cycle 25, uh, the bands have been pretty open in the afternoon and there's a good chance that we might get some FM bleed over come across. Well, hopefully not. That can sometimes wipe us all out. Fingers crossed, it's pretty clear at the moment. But I just know that once the 305 starts, it might start. But anyway, can't help that. Uh, 
Uh, well, that's a nice one, Dave. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I've literally just come on myself uh, on different radio. I'll give you that radio report, Dan. Um, you are Signal 6 and 7, Radio 5. We are going to get bashed about a little bit by the Continentals. But it's uh, it's working for you well there, that old uh, that silver rod. How high is it off the ground, Dan? Um, I've got it just on the gutter line of my house here on a 10-foot pole. So, what, well, we must be looking at about 30, 40 feet. Yeah, that's right, Roger that. Um, straight out of the 6900 on a short cable. Um, I'm sitting pretty near the antenna Copy there, Dan. Just getting a little bit bashed about by the uh, FM bleed over. Unfortunately, we're going to get that. Well, I'm, I'm glad the videos are working. Glad the videos uh, are working now. A bit more, um, more like a HF radio to use. It's not channelized so much. Um, but once you get used to dialing around the frequencies and you ignore the channels, you'll be fine. It's obviously got more power. I think it comes with a better microphone. But a lot of people stick with a 6900, and um, yeah, they're really, really happy uh, with with that. Uh, back to you, Dan. Down. I, I lost a part of that. Um, it seems that someone is now trying to key over us uh, on the wrong mode, on FM mode, and they're now trying to bleep over us because they obviously can just about can hear us. But yeah, I said, well, let's say the hobby is, is what you make it, isn't it? Um, <laughs> 